The day was August 22, 1485. King Richard III, one of England's most famous and controversial monarchs, was killed at the Battle of Bosworth. What happened to his body, however, remained a mystery for over 500 years. Fast forward to 2012, when decades of research led a team of archaeologists from the University of Leicester to an unlikely site, a parking lot at the former location of Greyfriars Church in Leicester, England. On the very first day of the dig, September 5th, excavators uncovered a human skeleton with a striking feature, a pronounced curve in the spine, a condition known as scoliosis. This unusual trait immediately raised the possibility that these were the remains of Richard III. Why? Because Shakespeare, in his play Richard III, famously described the king as a hunchback. While the term was inaccurate and exaggerated, it fueled speculation for centuries that Richard may have had a spinal deformity, what we now recognize as scoliosis. The skeleton was carefully exhumed and DNA analysis confirmed its identity as Richard III. His spine was meticulously studied, scanned with CT imaging and reconstructed. It turns out that Richard III did indeed have adolescent onset idiopathic scoliosis, which likely developed in his teenage years. However, this condition wouldn't have hindered his ability to walk, ride, or fight, qualities for which he was known. At the Battle of Bosworth, Richard III met his end while bravely leading a cavalry charge, sword in hand. His skeleton revealed multiple injuries including fatal blows to the skull, jaw, ribs, and pelvis, evidence of the violent last moments of his life. Ironically, the centuries-old depiction of Richard as a hunchback, originally intended to discredit him, played a crucial role in identifying his remains. Shakespeare's words, exaggerated as they were, inadvertently helped solve a 500-year-old mystery.